Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, it's a Sunday. Uh, didn't have church this morning because of the, the coronavirus. So I'm going to go out here on a little walk. Get some uh, social distancing as they're calling it. Um, this is kind of hopefully, probably my last two raw going scout or scouting and uh, shed hunting on this this spot this is kind of where my big deer is so let's hope I find his sheds I found them in the last two years um, hopefully we can uh, put another puzzle piece together this year with him and then connect with him in the 2020 season <clears throat> he's a really cool deer kind of a lot of trash around his bases and uh, yeah, I think he's probably six years old this year. I've had trail cam pictures of him since he was three years old. Um, I don't know, kind of cool. So, we'll see. Looks like there's been some uh, mountain bikers coming through here. Mountain biker must have gave up pretty quick. Probably after that big mud hole that he had to drive through, I think he just turned around because there's no more bike tracks on the trail anymore it's steep in here I'd imagine you have to be in pretty dang good shape um, to ride a mountain bike through here I'm sure people can do it um, I'm not one of those though found a dead uh, deer spine I don't see the head or anything laying around here though so I was walking on this big ridge and I found the big set of sheds over there um, earlier this year from two years ago and I found his set last year um, from last year and I don't know if it's him or not but right down there is a big set or a big antler so let's go down there and take a look at it always take your time walking up to these antlers because a lot of times they're you know laying here somewhere the other one is and if you get in a hurry you'll pass them up That is definitely not him, but nonetheless, that is a nice deer. That's been here for a year or so, though. I'm going to look down this bottom here to see if I find anything anything else. I just wonder if this was his, his bed he was laying in. It's a good antler. Okay, I got him on my pack now. I'm going to walk around a little bit down in this little bottom to see if I can maybe find the other side. It could be completely gone. Um... That one has been chewed on and stuff, so that, that other one, you know, it may not even exist anymore. That'd be a good dog chew toy there. That's my smallest of the year so far. <laughs> well, I love turkey hunting, but sometimes I struggle getting up in this early in the morning. Especially when you got a, a six month old that's teething and won't sleep and you have to sleep in his uh, armchair all night. Yanni developed, yesterday, Yanni developed the ability just to think into his to computer. Yeah. He's, well, he's, doing, working, he's working on that quarantine. software. Here. 
spot. I said the decoy is like seven yards from me, so it should be a good close shot. Felt like it just heard something fly down. I'm gonna get this get this ready to go. You birds roosted over in there. I don't know if you can hear that on the volume or not. <laughs> I hear something. Over the ridge here. Could be a deer, could be a squirrel, could be a turkey. So. Right over there. It sounds like a deer blowing in something. I just took a quick shot because he saw me moving in the blind here. Dang it. Hell. That was cool though. He came from behind me. Um, just a Jake, but he didn't have much swing in his beard at all. Oh well. You never know, maybe he'll come back in here. just moving and and uh you know running away from me i i probably shouldn't have even shot at him but he was only 12 yards so